Join me as I dive into Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's online ranked mode to see if it's really worth my time, can I climb the ranks and prove it's not a waste? Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is a fighting game that's all about intense one-on-one -on -one battles, and its online ranked mode promises to take the competition to the next level. In this video, we're going to explore whether this mode is worth your time, or if it's just a hassle not worth dealing with. When it comes to online ranked modes, gamers often have some serious concerns. For one, there's the issue of balance, is the game fair, or are some characters just way overpowered? Then there's the problem of matchmaking times, how long do you have to wait to get into a match, and is it worth the wait? And let's not forget about player skill disparities, when you're matched with someone who's way better or way worse than you, it can be a pretty frustrating experience. Another thing that can be a real turnoff is when the game's ranked mode feels like it's not rewarding enough. If you're grinding for hours and not getting the recognition you feel you deserve, it can be hard to stay motivated. And of course, there's the issue of toxicity. When players get salty and start trash talking, it can ruin the whole experience. In the case of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, I found that the matchmaking times are actually pretty reasonable. Most of the time, I've been able to get into a match within a minute or two. However, I have run into some issues with player skill disparities, sometimes I'll get matched with someone who's way better than me, and other times I'll get matched with someone who's still learning the ropes. Moving on to the features of the ranked mode, one thing I really like is the ranking system. It's pretty straightforward, you climb the ranks as you win matches, and you drop down when you lose. It's not super complicated, but it gets the job done. The reward system is also pretty solid, when you reach certain milestones, you'll get rewards like in-game currency or new characters to play with. In terms of community feedback, it seems like the developers are actually pretty active when it comes to listening to player concerns and making changes to the game. This is a big deal, because it shows that they're committed to making the ranked mode the best it can be. Compared to other fighting games, I think Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's ranked mode holds its own, it's not perfect, but it's definitely got some unique features that set it apart. So after spending some time with the ranked mode, I've come to a pretty clear conclusion. While it's not without its flaws, I think the ranked mode does add some real value to the game. Yes, there are some issues with balance and player skill disparities, but overall I think it's a pretty fun and rewarding experience. To sum it up, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero's online ranked mode is definitely worth checking out, but it's not without its pros and cons. If you're a fan of the game and you're looking to take your skills to the next level, I'd say give it a shot, just be aware of the potential issues you might run into. Thanks for watching, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on the ranked mode in the comments below. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more gaming content, I'll catch you in the next video.